Hi everyone. I know I haven't posted a video in a long while and I just wanted to give everyone a quick update on the kind of stuff that I've been working on. So mostly I've been working on my kit. One thing I did was I updated the icons for Rhino 6 and 7 so that they now match the icons for Rhino 8. Another thing I did was I created an installation wizard for the kit. So no real changes to the kit. If you already have the kit installed there was no new functionality that's been added. There's no reason to download the new version of the kit. It just is easier to install now. And Rhino 6 and 7 uh, have icons that match Rhino 8 now. So, uh, but, but that was a lot of work. And that is something that I had been working on. Here is a Halo Builder that I'm working on in Grasshopper. And this is something that I hope to eventually add to the jewelry kit as another tool. Uh, it would only be in the paid version and it's only going to work for round and oval gemstones but it lets you put a ha halo of little gems around a larger center gemstone. Another thing I'm working on is this grasshopper project which is going to be gems on a curve and it's going to not only let you place the gems on the curve but also orient them uh, to a surface. So you don't have to but it, is, it will be an option for you. Again, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get these uh, ready for the kit, but it's just something that I'm working toward to eventually add these tools to the paid version of the kit. So another thing that I'm working on uh, here recently is uh, trying to figure out how to replicate the grasshopper functionality. So you can see here grasshopper. Now I'm just making a, a silly little shape, but I'm using the grasshopper sliders to do that with. And grasshopper sliders are so responsive. Uh, you can just... Uh, you know, manipulate that ge geometry uh, to your heart's content. So here you can see me trying to repl replicate that with a simple dialog box. So Grasshopper can be a little confusing and overwhelming if you're not used to it. And I'm going to try to hopefully one day take my Grasshopper tools and convert them to something like this. So this is the same silly little shape, but I'm making it with uh, a simple dialog box and not with Grasshopper. So the the background coding is done in Python for these and it's been quite challenging to figure out how to replicate that grasshopper functionality. But I think I finally have grasped how to do that, how to replicate that grasshopper functionality in Python. And now the challenge is going to be converting all of those grasshopper tools over to Python tools to use those simple dialog boxes. So that's what I plan on working on next. I do uh, plan also on trying to fit in some video tutorials as well, uh, because I do I do want to make more tutorials uh, for for you for my viewers. But that is all for the update, and thank you for watching. And as always, I hope to see all of you in future videos.